Jasmine is a very silly, creative, and smart, and very talented young lady. And then Ronan, he is very colorful, very dramatic. When Jasmine was born, she came out with like red dots all over her, and they actually thought she had measles at birth. She recently, over the past couple of years, started showing signs of joint pain. So for the two kiddos, they had unique concerns. Jasmine had more of the chronic pain concerns, some of the fatigue concerns. Ronan has some developmental differences too, but also has some of those fatigue concerns that his mom had raised. Most difficult aspect of going through all this is not knowing. It, it was scary because we didn't know if this is really what we were looking at or if it was something else. We didn't know what we were going to find out. Having no diagnosis makes it very hard to get services. And that's one of the hardest things for our families is because they have a really critically ill child and a lot going on and they can't quantify it. They can't give it a name. The rare and undiagnosed genetic disease problem is a multifaceted one. It affects society because these families don't have really an answer and they're left to manage for their for themselves it affects the healthcare system because they're unable to provide help or answers for these families it's an economic issue because it causes a lot of cost to occur in the system and you know ultimately in many ways they're medical refugees the I Hope program is a really wonderful philanthropic effort where we're able to donate genomes to partnering physicians or groups um, to allow access for whole genome sequencing to patients who otherwise wouldn't have it. With whole genome sequencing, you sequence not only the genes that you know of, but the genes that maybe are newly described. There's only three cases. Our kids actually have two totally different results. With our daughter, she actually had a confirmed genetic diagnosis of an already pre-diagnosed skin disorder called ichthyosis vulgaris. We found out with him that he has 16p11.2 microduplication, which pretty much answers all the questions in regards to his development. This has been just too awesome and it's helped out dramatically. Like us being able to get our son into therapy now, it's not you guys might think, no, it's now we know. We have solid evidence. It's not just basing off different tests. We have something that's directly related to it and it's helped dramatically. Now that we know with our daughter, of which routes we need to go. Thank you. Can't say it enough. The fact that this is available and this is something that could help most children that are undiagnosed that have a genetic disease, I think just getting the word out and letting them know that there are ways to find answers and that we're here to help.